Hello, and welcome to uh, learning how to create a lightsaber using Revolve. So um, here's just a little example. I made it purple, just like Mace Windu's uh, lightsaber. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one and give you some tips and tricks on how to set up your um, revolve and uh, and all that. So let's go. Let me go back to my dashboard. Here's the one that I just made. I called it revolve. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one. And let's go to. Let's make this light I gotta learn how to type. I think lightsaber is one word. I'm not sure. Okay, so uh, I always like to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and start a sketch here, and I'm gonna turn off my planes over here. And all right, so the very first thing for a, a, a revolve, if we remember, I always like to start with a construction line, but whatever it is, whether it's a regular line or a construction line, um, it needs to be uh, the axis. So this is the axis. So I'm actually, normally I do a construction line. I'm gonna go easy on myself for this reason. I'm gonna do this. Since this, since this is going to be the length of my lightsaber, I'm gonna make this a solid line so I know where to stop and then I can it revolve it around this axis so the axis is actually going to be part of the object so uh, let's say uh, I don't know it's it's definitely not 10 inches but my lightsaber from end to end may be three feet um, like between two feet and three feet depending on whatever I'm gonna make mine 30 inches that's a little bit less than, uh, oops, let me get rid of that, inches, 30. So um, it's a little bit less than uh, 3 feet, a little bit bigger than 24 uh, inches or 2 feet. So um, I'm going to start here, and this is going to be my handle. And my handle is going to be, I don't know, maybe about 10 inches to 12 inches, 12 inches tops. That's a big one. Um, but I'm going to start down here. And I'm going to make my my shape for my handle. A comfortable handle for me is about two inches, two to two and a half inches. So if that's the case, and this is going to be revolved, I want to make this one inch. Okay? Um, so I'm going to do one. That makes my handle two inches. Okay? Um, that is important, but I want a tiny little uh i'm gonna call this a pommel okay the pommel is at the bottom of the the light saber or some people call it the light sword so this is going to be my pommel and my pommel is going to stick up just a little bit higher than than that and then here is going to be my handle so i i am going to be a little bit more artistic about this just because i i want this to be sort of special Okay, but uh, I, you know, I want to sort of decide what I want to do instead of, you know, doing everything the perfect size. Now, I'm going to show you a neat little way to do. So if this is my little handle and I want it to be bumpy and, and all that other stuff, um, I could do this or I could do something kind of neat to make it rounded. So I'm going to use the arc tool and I'm going to make this like this and this is going to be a little bump. Okay, but this is kind of neat. All right, so I want a little bump and then I want this to go out this way. So I'm going to take my dimension tool and I want to do this. So I'm going to make this, I'm going to go easy on myself, make this 0.8 since that is roughly, you know, what, what size it is. Now watch this. I'm going to go up to my linear pattern just like we've done for other assignments. And I'm going to choose this and this. Oops. And this. Okay. So now I've got this that comes out this way, okay? And I want it to perfectly match up with each other instead of, you know, doing, uh, you know, sort of that if you look right in here um, or having a gap like this in here. So I know that this is 0 0.8. 
So I'm going to make this 0.8. Okay, and then it's going to match up perfectly over and over and over and make, make a little handle. So I want this handle to be... Uh, I don't know, four or five inches. So I'll do uh, I'll do five or six of these just to make it even a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna hit uh, out here. So it, you know, the little check. So see that little check on the left button? I'm gonna go ahead and hit check. And it makes my little object and here we go. So now I'm gonna make my, so this is called the pommel. I'm gonna now make the hilt. Okay, so the hilt is the little piece that m blocks my hand from scooting forward. And um, let's see, why is this not going flat? Oh, there we go. So I'm going to come up just a little bit more. And I'm going to make my hilt. And the hilt is going to be a just about the same height as that other object. And then um, we'll bring it, let's say, down. And then this is going to be where, if, if I were to work with a, an actual lightsaber, this is where the guts of it go and the little, little uh, parts. So I'm going to show you how to make that a little bit neater later. But then I'm going to take this over, and here is going to be the actual um, laser part or lightsaber part. Okay? Now, it, it colors in to show that it's a closed polygon. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit check. Here's my profile. And now I'm gonna go to revolve. And this is my profile selected just right here. And here is my rotation axis right here like that, okay? And there's my little shape of my lightsaber. I can make this look a lot cooler if I want to. Um, I can, let's say, fill it. You know, I could have done the fillet earlier, but I'm going to fill it this and make this look, you know, rounded at the tip. And then over here, I'm going to make it so it is, um, maybe this tip is chamfered. Um, let's try and make this a little bit more, 0.5 maybe. Yeah, that looks good. So you can do something else that's kind of neat too with, with this chamfer. You can change this to two distances. And so let's make um, the first distance 0.5 and then make the next one, um, oh, I did that backwards, 0.5 over here and then make this maybe uh, two. And then this makes like a, like a little cone shape um, that comes down on the tip. Um, I think that's kind of cool. Um, you can do some other, you know, other little modifications like uh, maybe the, the hilt, uh, I mean the pommel is shaped like that as well, um, 0.4 maybe to make it a little bit more shapely. And there's, you know, there's, there's some ideas to make it shaped that way. Now here's kind of, this is kind of cool. So I'm going to come in and I'm, most of this now for me is going to be like a gray, okay? so. Let's pick like a like a gray that looks, you know, like a handle. And then my grip, so like each one of these little grips, I'm going to make a different color. So I can click on this here and let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say these are a, um, a light green. Okay, so I'm going to choose this and this and this and this and this and I'm going to make this a very light green. And there's that, okay, that's kind of cool. I can always come back in and change that if I want to. Um, I made this uh, purple before, but let's make it, I'm gonna make this a, uh, um, a Sith color. So let's take this and make this red and make the tip red. And um, that's pretty cool. So I, you know, you can color the other things a little bit more drastic or change, you know, change the shapes of things. So adding detail to this. So I have, you know, this is a simple shape. This isn't much to, to look at. Maybe I have a little button here or some little squares and stuff. So I'm gonna come in and, um, you know, we're still do, trying to do things a little bit simpler. So I'm gonna come in, uh, let's say in this front view, okay? And I'm gonna create a sketch and I'm gonna make a button here, okay? And 
what I'm going to do is when I go to extrude that button, here's uh, if I zoom in here, here's my little extrusion. Um, is it still thinking for me? Uh, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going to make, while I'm in this, to make it easier for me, I'm going to extrude this. There we go. I'm going to bring it up a little bit so it's sticking out of the object. And then that gives me that thing. If you look over here, this is still the same part. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something a little bit that makes that uh, make a little bit more sense. So I'm going to take now and I'm going to uh, fill it, the edge of this, to make it look a little bit more like a, a button. And let's go, let's see here. There we go, there's a little button, okay? I could, if I wanted to, then come back in and make this button a different color. Um, I need to choose all three sections of this and maybe this button is red. Uh, now let's make this button blue. That way it's a little bit different and so there's my little button, okay? All right, now I'm gonna make something that has a little bit more of a pattern shape to it. So I'm gonna go now, uh, I'm going to go to sketch and this time uh, I'm going to use the top just so it's in a different view for me. And I'm going to create a little rectangle, let's say, right, um, right here so when it goes around it doesn't interfere with that, okay? And I'm going to then, uh, I, I like doing this here from the sketch, I like extruding it just so I'm still in that sketch and I'm going to bring this out like that okay now see how it's a different it's still the same part i'm gonna do what's called a circular pattern and i'm gonna choose this as my object and then this as my axis okay and you can see um let's do that again let's choose that and you can see see how it created those buttons and now it made w one two three, four, um, uh, four parts. I don't want to do that, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this extrusion and I'm going to go to new part. And now it creates a new part here. And why that's important is now I'm even going to, I'm going to add some detail to this. I'm going to make this um, something like this. I'm going to do, make it like a little spike. Uh, point uh, one. Let's see if that's small enough. Does that work? Yeah. I'm going to make it a little point. All right. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to go and I'm going to go to circular pattern now. Now when I select this, see how it's only selecting that part? And then I'm going to go to axis and I'm going to select this. Now it only creates that piece and it doesn't duplicate the object all the way around. I'm gonna go, let's say, I don't know, 12. That might look cool. All right, and then I'm gonna hit check. And there's my little my little shapes. Um, I think those look pretty cool. Um, so now that gives you some, some ways to actually create some detail. I'm gonna come over here to Trimetric so it gives a little bit of a better view of this. And there we go, there's my little lightsaber, all right? Thanks for watching.